Okay. Variables can also contain more complex data. Yep, we've, we've seen that. So let's use them to catch the banana. All right, we have turtle distance to banana, monkey distance to turtle. All right. So first we're going to need the turtle to get the monkey. I'm going to I'm going to do a little cleaning up here, which I don't normally do. I'm going to be using those two lines of code, but I don't like the order of this. And I just want to neaten it up. I want to define all my variables at the top. Um, and I also want to change this. Monkey distance to turtle is the same as turtle distance to monkey. And since we're, since we're doing turtle distance to, I think I'm going to keep it like that. I hope I don't regret it, but I think that's what I want to do. So first I need the turtle to get to the monkey, which usually we're turning to and then stepping to. So turtle turn to monkey. And then we need the turtle to step the distance of the monkey. So that's M. Let's run that. Make sure so far, so good. All right. Oh, look at that. Only D and M, no numbers. I wasn't planning on using numbers, but I just wanted to see what we have. So we're going to back up, right? So let's get some minus. Turtle step minus M. And then after we back up, we're going to need to turn to, turtle's going to need to turn to the banana. And then now the turtle is going to need to step to the banana. Woo! So we used our M and we used our D. All right, let's run it and see. This might also be one that you want to do with a lot of testing. What? Up. Oh. Not D. That is my bad. I'm like thinking in my mind, we just want the turtle to step D. <laughs> Could be turtle step distance to banana. Distance to banana was D. That was an oops on my part. I hope you caught it when you were watching and said, why, why would you put that? Now we're good. 